what is algebra? Essentially, it's where we just use letters or symbols to represent numbers. Let's look at 5 plus 5. We should know that a equals 10. What's another way to write 10? Well, that would be 5 times 2. What about 10 plus 10? Well, that's 20. Another way to write that is 10 times 2. What about 20 plus 20? That's 40. Another way to write that is 20 times 2. So hopefully you can see a pattern. And algebra really helps us with, with patterns. It lets us see patterns and rewrite them using uh, letters or what we like to call pronumerals in algebra. So what if we wanted to make the same pattern but with letters or pronumerals? If our starting number was x, how can I write this to make it look similar to our pattern? Well, every time we're taking whatever number we started with and adding the number again. Number we started with, number again. Number we started with, and number again. So number we started with, and number again, must mean we have to write x here with a plus. So what is x plus x equal? Well, going by this pattern, whatever number you started with ends up being that number times 2. The number you started with equals that number times 2, and the number you started with equals that number times 2. So it's the number we started with equals that number times 2. So it's going to equal x times 2. And you'll notice as well that I've written the x curly. And we write it like that just so we don't confuse it with the multiplication sign. So try and get used to writing them like that from now on. While we're talking about how we write things in algebra, when we write a pronumeral times a number, this is not how we write it. We actually always write the number first and we write the pronumeral next to it. And this means multiplication. So this is the same thing as 2 times x. So in algebra, we just tend to not write multiplication signs. We write, we write a number and a pronumeral next to each other. So we use algebra in the real world to actually model, to model the real world. And you may have even seen a very famous formula by Einstein that E equals mc squared. So this is essentially just algebra where E is representing a number that we just don't know, M is representing a number we don't know, and C is also representing a number we don't know. In this case, E is for energy, M is for mass, and C is actually the speed of light. Thank you.